Well, art can teach us a whole lot about both ourselves and the natural world. An installation at the Birchfield Penny Art Center takes an immersive look at an ancient fish. Terry Belke explains as we head to the outdoors. The natural world has been an inspiration to artists for centuries, and the muse of nature still drives artists to create. An ongoing exhibit at the Birchfield Penny Art Center focuses on the sturgeon, a prehistoric fish that is listed as endangered throughout the world. They're ancient fish. I mean, they're amazing. So I thought right now was, was a good time. Um, the state is looking at these fish and their designation. The federal government is as well. The installation aims to drive awareness through a variety of mediums, including video feeds from their habitat in the Niagara River to an aquarium with live sturgeon, which have recently been released into the river. There's a ton of documentation of wild spawning populations um, and, and study and field research that's gone on over the last decade. Um, there's prints, uh, there's sculptures, there's, there's curiosity cabinets um, where you'll find all sorts of interesting things like ancient coins, uh, trilobites and ammonites, things that represent uh, the mass extinctions that they've survived. The sturgeon is considered the most endangered group of species on Earth. Pollution and habitat degradation are contributing causes, but the main cause of their decline is overfishing. Sturgeon are prized for their eggs, which are made into caviar, a rare and very costly delicacy. Because they're taken during their spawning period, the damage done has been devastating. Because they don't spawn like normal fish, they're not one, two, three years old when they start spawning. They're somewhere, you know, like 15 to 20 if they're male or maybe like 15 to 30 even if they're female. They might spawn every one to three if they're male, every four to seven if they're female. You can decimate a population during the spawn. Sturgeon can grow to great size and live up to 100 years. We're fortunate in western New York to have a wild population in the Niagara River and fisheries experts have worked hard to protect them. Protected habitat was essential to their survival and now we really need to look at giving them more habitat, all of these fish, even ourselves, clean water, clean sediment, clean ecosystem at the shore. Um, it's really all connected. The installation, titled Lake Sturgeon's Guide to Surviving the Anthropocene, runs at the Birchfield Penny through November 28th. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke. And from sturgeon to tuna, check this out. Fishermen in New York and off the coast of New Jersey, they didn't have to go very far to catch some massive tuna. Richard Colombo with Rockfish Charters says that tuna that size usually caught 100 miles or more off the coast. This guy, though, just off of shore. Fishermen say they haven't seen many over the last three weeks, but they're hoping that they will return next season. Quite a fishtail there. All right, coming up next.